Time to get organized. Oh man, new week, new opportunities starting tomorrow on Monday. Well, when you're watching this, it will be Monday. Happy Monday. I love Monday. It's like, let's get going. Let's roll. Let's rock and roll. Let's get things done. Let's accomplish goals. But got to stay organized. My running bag got a little out of control this week. So. First time putting on these smart wool socks. Wow. Wow. Fascinating. I've, I've worn smart wool in the past, but these are very comfortable. Holy guacamole. And now I'm putting on the Vimero 14. Ah, there we go, there we go. Got the t-shirt on, got the Vimero 14s on. By the way, they're feeling amazing. And these smart wool socks are just unbelievable. They feel so good. I've, anyway, we won't talk about them now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a good week here on YouTube coming up. Uh, however, I am closing in on the 2018 running calendar. It's been, well, last week definitely threw me off quite a bit by not being able to run because of the sickness, and I was not expecting that. Was hoping for a much, let's say, stronger finish to the year, but that's okay. You remain flexible as a runner, patient, have that macro level training um, plan at the forefront of your brain at all times because you never know when an injury is going to pop up or a sickness or frankly, just busy life, and you have to just pause things a little bit. So anyway, this upcoming week, we're going to talk about the future of this YouTube channel. We're going to talk about uh, the future of training for me, the future of training, hopefully for you, and hopefully giving you some insights as to perhaps what could be a game plan for half marathon, marathon uh, training, because I, I continue. By the way, my email is listed on the desktop version of YouTube and it's under the about section. It's kind of hard to find and I think YouTube makes it hard to find on purpose, but email me with your questions. I'll be happy to answer eventually. Be patient with me. I never delete an email if I don't answer it, but it might take two, three, five days sometimes. So be patient, but a lot of people are emailing me with questions about gear and about running and training and all that fun stuff. So, and as far as today goes, we're going easy three miles and this is a topic that uh, is a good topic for an easy vlog. So the last couple of vlogs you've probably noticed have been over 15 minutes, which means it takes more editing. So I am gonna take an easy vlog today, an easy edit and an easy run just to keep it a little shorter, but I do wanna talk about a specific topic with you, which is yes, of course, connected to the title of today's vlog. But first, let's go get three miles in. Come on, in the Vimero 14. Mm, 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 yeah. And burst inside through the breeze. <laughs> Days of hunger. Won't you let them be free? Cause we need them to sing a sad man. Falling leaves 
I got it. I got it. Remember yesterday we talked about the race day packet, what you would love to see in the packets moving forward. Great ideas, by the way, are streaming in right now. This was yesterday's vlog. If you didn't see it, go watch it and let us know your thoughts on what would be the one item you would love to see in a race packet moving forward. A lot of beanies, gloves, uh, coffee, coffee mugs, gift certificates, just great ideas. What would be my item if I could afford it as a race director? The foot log. Oh, I just wonder how, like, I just love this thing so much and it feels so good on the plantar fasciitis, which by the way, mine is non-existent right now, but gotta stay on top of it, right? Keep that maintenance up. So I'm telling you, oh, if I could give this to every single runner in the world, I would, I would, yes I would. The topic of the day, first, a little water. Christmas season, hydrate, hydrate. All right, everybody, here we go. The easy day loop from your home. And listen, a lot of veteran runners already know this. You've been running for years and years. You understand this concept. However, there's a lot of new runners who are commenting in the last you know, two to three weeks who say in the comments below, like, I've been running for three months. I've been running for six months. I'm just discovering this sport and I'm falling in love with it. And like, that's amazing. Welcome to the running family. And I'm just blown away like to discover something that you love. And some, I, somebody commented yesterday, they're 55, I think, or 50, in their 50s and they just discovered running. And the gentleman just ran I think it was like a 28 minute 5K or 27 minute 5K and he's in his 50s and it's his he just discovered running in his 50s. That's amazing. Welcome to running and so here we go. The easy day loop, what is it? It's exactly what it sounds like. Three tips for why you should run an easy day loop from your house. First of all, we all, we runners, we love running but it can be at times a little bit of a mental workout in addition to a physical workout for accomplishing the daily run because we're busy. We have tasks that we all need to complete. We have jobs, we have families, we have school. So you have to strategize throughout your day or the night before your day begins on like, okay, when am I gonna run tomorrow? Where's my gear? Where, you know, where am I gonna run? Uh, how long am I gonna run? What's it gonna take for transportation to get to the running location? Yada, yada, like the list goes on and on. Believe it or not, we, you runners, you, we go through this mental workout every single day, whether we remember or know it or not. Here we go. Why the easy day loop? First of all, an easy day is important in your training. You should not be running hard every single day. Obviously, like, you don't want to do that. And so you want to, you want an easy day for your physical body recovery, your legs, your, your everything, you know, your, your waist down. But what about a mental break? On this channel, we haven't talked too much about the mental side of running. I'm excited to get into that more so in 2019. We'll get into it, but why the easy day loop from your home? And why did I put those three words at the end of today's vlog title, from your home? Meaning, out your front door. You are on your easy day loop, you're leaving your house out your front door, you're not traveling to a running location. And listen, I realize some people might live right next to an interstate, so this might not always be possible. But for most of us, I would, I'd probably make the argument that we can run, literally, from our front door, an easy day loop where the, the course is already marked off, so there's 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 mental breaks for, uh, you don't have to figure out the logistics of traveling to the location, you don't have to figure out the distance because you've run it so many times that your watch just tells you how far you've gone, and so you're like, okay, I know exactly how far the loop is, I know exactly where I'm leaving from, my front door, and I know that it's going to be easy, meaning, I'm not doing a tempo workout, I'm not doing a fart lick, I'm not doing a long run, I don't have to figure out any other real logistics with my gear with respect to like carrying water or carrying food. And so it's that mental break that we all as runners, we, we really need to strive for because when it's time to rock and roll on the track for a workout, like we're in the zone. And that's like, that's mentally taxing. I remember in college just being a little, Whew, a little stressed out like about track workouts because it was not my strength. And so when the easy day arrived, I just was like, ah. Therefore, what are the three points to take away from the easy day loop from your home? 
It's logistically easy, it's mentally easy, and it's physically easy. The three points right there. And of course, you know the keyword is loop and the question of the day. And I'll be, I'm just fascinated, like, for the veteran runners, like, do you have an easy day loop? I'm assuming you do from your home. And how long did it take you to discover that loop? I know for me, it actually took me a little while to discover my loop, probably a year or two before I was like, okay, this is my loop. I'm not going anywhere else on my easy day loop. But for the new runners, have you ever thought of this concept of an easy day loop? And what do you think of it? And are you interested in you know mapping out an easy day loop from your home. All right, that's the question of the day. That's the keyword loop, and I love you. And yes, today's vlog is easy to film, easy to edit, because it's an easy day loop kind of day, and I'm calling it at, what time is it? It's like four, it's almost four o'clock, and I'm done. I'm gonna call it, and I love you, and thanks for being here. Tomorrow's an exciting big day. Probably a couple videos publishing, two videos, two videos, stay tuned. Actually, yes, I'm just gonna say it now. Two videos will publish tomorrow, so gear up for that. And uh, so I gotta, I gotta call it right now. See, beauty, actually, shall we just let the t-shirt do the talking? Shall we do? 